Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Um, today I wanted to do a quick video on an unboxing. I have an order here from BoxyCharm and I see a lot of influencers unboxing them and a lot of them are teens and tweens and millennials and absolutely there's nothing wrong with that but I wanted to try it out and I wanted to see if it was ideal for an older person like I'm in my 40s already um so a lot of times you know we tend to take recommendations from people who are much younger and have younger skin um different textures and hair um basically you know when you get older your skin goes through a lot um and you can't use all the same things that uh, the teens tweens millennials are using so i just wanted to order it you know i've done subscription boxes before and i stopped them because you know basically it's a lot of samples and i just have so many samples that i just it just got unbearable and i just tended not to use the samples so i wanted to try boxy charm and it is again a subscription monthly service where they have different levels the one i did was 25 dollars uh, and you can cancel anytime and I just wanted to see like, you know, is it Going to be something for me some and you know, they have different products. They have makeup products. They have hair, hair products and um, I tend to buy a lot of stuff and A lot of it comes again from the recommendation from much younger people which there's nothing wrong with that but when I receive the items it doesn't always seem like it's right for me so I'm gonna see if this works out for me. And again, um, I'm 43 years old and I wanna see if BoxyCharm works. And here it is, I just popped it open. And it's supposed to be full of full-size products. So it's definitely not sample size, which I appreciate. Um, let's see, so the first thing in here is something called Kinder Glow highlight palette um and i mean as somebody who's in the workspace um i don't tend to put on highlighter uh, i don't think there's anything wrong wrong with highlighter i just don't think i should be going to work with just like all highlighted but you know i will definitely give it a try um this is what it looks like and the name, I guess it's a quad. It says Highlighter Palette, Gracious Angel Loving Kindly. It's very nice name. Let's see, hopefully it's not anything blinding. Okay, it looks like it will work with my skin tone. And I could definitely do swatches at another time, but let's just do one really quick. Right there, that's uh, Angel. Gracious, kindly, and loving. So it doesn't look like anything too crazy. Okay, not mad at it. Next item, and I believe it's supposed to be five full size items. Uh, the next one it says it's an Ayana palette. Uh, oh, Natasha Denona, what? The Natasha Denona Ayana palette. Natasha and Denona palettes are very expensive. The formula is really good. Oh, wow. And I believe this is May's box. Um, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I had something. I had the smaller version of this. And I didn't get to try it because it cracked and broke. And these are definitely colors that I go for. The, the more neutral warm tone so here it is and it says this is harlow lash lane satin skin it says cm crease and glam green oh wow natasha denona palettes are very expensive like definitely worth more than 25 dollars uh which is what the boxy charm 
box cost. And their formula is very smooth, long lasting, never has a fragrance. And when you pick it up with a brush, it doesn't powder out, which I really um, appreciate. And it has a, not a magnetic closure, but this is, this is really nice. So that's, that's definitely worth the price of the box right there. Let's see what else we have. The next thing we have is something called Earth Harbor. What is this? Aurora Super Luminous. I have no idea. Sea Green Cannabis Sativa Hemp. What in the world? All right, let's let's open this. Let's see. Purely natural. I still don't know what it is. I'm not sure. Superfood luminous for a hyper concentrated treatment. Apply two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning as needed. Oh, I guess this is a serum for daily skin skincare cocktail. Yeah, a soothing eternal glow of the aurora botanicals guys i'm lying sorry sweeping across the sky captured in a bottle give your precious face luminous superfood nutrition with harmonizing sea greens and cannabis sativa hemp oil and pacifying metal form seed oil hmm interesting so I'll have to try this and I'll definitely let you guys know. I've never tried any type of cannabis oil or whatever you want to call that stuff. Okay, what's next? Uh, Dominique, what is this? Defense Your Beauty. These things don't have names. Creamy fill and define. Oh, it's a lip liner. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. It's in the color crush. And it looks like the colors I go for, which is like the mauve. I actually had one on today. What did I have on today? Oh, I had a lip kit by Kylie. Okay, it's a lip liner. It's a little rough. Oh, not too bad. I guess you gotta warm up with your lips. I know lip liners are not lipstick, but it does match. It does match what I was wearing earlier. And again, I try to go for now products that are for more my for more my age, but I'm not at the what do I use say like I'm not into the Estee Lauders. Like, I don't think I'm there yet. Like, I'm in between. Um, I did order some ColourPop just to try it. And that's actually what I have on my eyes today. Which wasn't bad. Not at all. But I think ColourPop is very, like, gimmicky. Which is what sold me. Okay. Oh, okay. The next thing is the Diva Eye Brush Set. Which is funny because I just ordered a whole bunch of brushes from MAC Cosmetics. And it's Beauty Diva London. So definitely, I can say that, you know, it's worth... Oh, I don't like the color, actually. Okay. These are eyes brushes. They don't say where. I like... Wait. So I'm going to say this is a small blender uh, that can be used as a liner uh, I mean this is a blender also so I'm I'm gonna say these two are blenders and that's um, for powder I don't like this color though uh, you almost had me with these brushes I'll still use them but the color is like mm, no Okay, what else? So that was 
four items. We have one more. This is very heavy. This is far pharmacy deep sweep 2% BHA pore cleansing toner with morning and papaya. Okay, it looks like it's a toner. How do you swipe on to clean, cleanse face in the AM or PM? Avoiding the eye area. Do not rinse. A slightly tingling, tingling may be experienced. Maybe use daily in absence of irritation for daytime use. Follow. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, okay. For daytime use, follow a sunscreen. So it's a toner. I'm like loaded with toners now. I use the. Which toner do I use? The La Mer. The La Mer Tonic. Oh my god. That is amazing. Amazing. And then yesterday I received an order and I didn't realize it. Um, I think that the color honestly sold me. It was um, Lancome. Toner brand Lancome. It was like a buy one, get one. Um, but that was toner also. I didn't think it was toner. I don't know what I was doing. Like I didn't read. So I have the La Mer that I love. Like after I wash my face, I take off, remove my makeup with the Clinique, remove the day. Then I use the, oh, I forget the name of it, but it's the, the rice. I'll figure it out. Um, I wash my face with that. Then I take a cotton swab with the La Mer. Oh my God, the La Mer tonic is like, so rejuvenating hold on i'm gonna go get it guys this is the la mer this is so first of all look at how beautiful that bottle is and then it just it doesn't spill out it lets you drop it on and it has this beautiful creamy refreshing smell like this thing right here is so amazing expensive yes amazing yes second purchase it lasts me a really long time but it is so it kind of like rehydrates your face after cleansing and removing the makeup it is amazing guys i 100 percent recommend this now i know this is a boxy term unboxing but i really have to recommend this because this is amazing so back to BoxyCharm, um, this again, the pharmacy sweep toner is called the Tonique Pore Cleansing Toner. It's in a glass bottle. Uh, it's 120 ml, four fluid ounces. Can't, it has a cap on it. Let's see. So yes, the Tonique, um, it has a a little button cap protecting it. I don't smell anything. No. No, I have perfume on so I can't really tell. Um, but I'll have to try that and I will definitely let you know how that works out. So again, I got a toner a lip liner, a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Like, that's amazing. Five eyeshadows. This whole thing costs $25. One shadow would cost $25. So I'm amazed. Uh, the serum, the hemp serum, and the five brushes. Five brushes? four brushes so you get all this i got all this in my box i love it um can't wait to try it all definitely give a review or an update i definitely do think that this you know this is definitely not a girly childish type box so i in this case i mean i can only say by this month it's box that i definitely would recommend it and so cute boxy charm and now they do have a premium and a luxury um box so 
it says, well, well, oh, hello. Hello charms, hello charms, beautiful. So I definitely would recommend this based on this box. I'll have to wait and see on next box and see. Um, I guess the products, they don't seem very childish to me and that's what I was looking for. Like I said, I've had other boxes subscriptions and they were more for, I mean, they were just tryouts, honestly. And when you get those little sample size stuff, it's good just to try out, but you get so many that you just throw them in a in a bag i literally have them in a baggie i need to do a declutter of them but thanks again guys i'm sorry i've been gone so long i'm definitely going to be posting more for sure um that was my boxy charm unboxing you guys have a good one and be safe out there bye